All right, ready and roll? We're good? All right, thank you. Okay. All right, so as the mayor said, this is preliminary information. This incident happened about an hour and a half ago, so it's all subject to change, and this is what we talk about at every press conference. We try to get as much information out to you as possible as soon as possible. So at approximately 11.55 a.m., a 2009 Honda Accord passenger vehicle mounted the sidewalk on the west side of 7th Avenue at West 42nd Street in Times Square. The vehicle, occupied by a male driver, proceeded to drive at a high rate of speed along the sidewalk from 42nd Street to 45th Street, striking a number of pedestrians along the way. The Honda eventually came to a stop on the northwest corner of West 45th Street, where it collided with a metal stanchion. Along the route, the subject's vehicle struck 23 pedestrians, causing multiple injuries and one fatality. 22 victims were removed to local hospitals. The driver, a 26-year-old male, identified as Richard Rojas, a resident of the Bronx, was taken into custody at the scene. Preliminary inf in investigation reveals that Rojas has a, a few arrests and two of them are for DWI. Detectives are currently reviewing any other criminal history for the subject. Further investigation is ongoing. At this, at this point, as the mayor said, there is no indication that this incident was terrorism related. Now Commissioner Nigro will talk about the injuries. Thank you. And I'll, I'll talk about the injuries in general terms as we do. We're not going to talk about names or specific injuries. We did have one person who was pronounced at the scene. There were four critical patients removed, two to Bellevue, two to Roosevelt, with various traumatic injuries, including open fractures, including multiple traumas. None of those at this point, thanks to the fact that they were quickly transported to this hospital, is likely but that doesn't mean they are, they are cleared. None of those four are right now likely to perish. Conditions can change. We're very hopeful that the fact they were treated here quickly and removed quickly, that they will survive. Three other injuries were very serious, but not critical. They were also removed to local hospitals. Fifteen are less serious injuries. We call green tag injuries. All of these people have now been transported to the hospitals, are being treated. We won't divulge any names or ages or where they come from at this point, but uh, there was a very large amount of uh, fire department, police department resources arriving here very quickly, and thanks to that, um, people received care in a very timely fashion. All right, let's take questions in the back. Yep. There were a number of people involved in the apprehension. There were some civilians involved, but there were also uh, members of the New York City Police Department involved in the apprehension also. We, were, we have, as, as you know, uh, being from New York, we have a tremendous amount of police coverage in Times Square. There were, as a matter of fact, right on the corner of 43rd and 7th, uh, we had a lieutenant from CRC and some police officers. Hold on, one at a time. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you had to speak up. Uh, the vehicle at this time, the vehicle. We don't think the vehicle was being pursued by a, uh, a police vehicle. David. Uh, David, as you know, the NYPD constantly uh, reassesses security throughout the city, and after the, an incident like this, um, um, we'll do that also, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, I would just add. And there's a, been a, a very substantial increase in the number of police officers who patrol Times Square over the last few years, obviously as part of our creation of a greater anti-terror force, the Critical Response Command. In addition, other measures have been put in place. As, com as Commissioner said, we will continue to update those measures as each situation warrants. McGee. McGee. Uh, it's right between, it looks like it's between 4-2 and 4-3, McGee. On 7th Avenue, the sidewalk. I'm not sure about that. I can't give you that. Uh, no, we'll give, we'll give you that yet. in. We're not ready to do that yet. Okay? Yep. Well, 
he's he's in the process of being tested uh, as we speak, and uh, he's being interviewed by the uh, New York City police detectives also. Uh, I, I can't I can't say that with any degree of certainty right now. Right behind. You got to speak up. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, and that's where he mounted the sidewalk at 4, 2, and 7, half a block away from here, up to 4, 5 Street. Yes. Now we're in the process of reviewing all the video right now. We're in, we're in, in the process of interviewing him right now. Again, this has only, only happened an hour and a half ago. Marsha? No, of, of course, uh, the worst uh, went through my mind, and that's why the mayor and I came here as quickly as we could. Uh, I spoke to uh, Chief Aubrey, who's the detective, uh, a detective chief in Manhattan South, and we quick, uh, quickly determined that at this time it doesn't appear to be terrorist-related. Right. And Marcia, same thing, exactly. Uh, obviously, we know, we know the times we're living in, Marcia, and we know uh, it's a dangerous moment in history. Uh, I also had, the second I heard it was Times Square, I knew that there was a tremendous police presence. Uh, but as we've learned more, again, there's no indication this was terror. Go ahead. Again, I think that's a different discussion than the crisis we're talking about right now. It is. We're talking about this right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look, my uh, response is the same it's been any time there's been an incident anywhere in the world. Uh, we continue to go about our lives uh, as New Yorkers. Now, thank God, based on what we know now, there is no indication that this was an act of terror. Uh, but for anyone who's concerned, my message is always the same. This is the safest big city in America that's been proven many times over. 36,000 police officers protecting people. Uh, even when some incidents occur, it should not change people's fundamental knowledge that they are safe and the NYPD protects them. Hold on, hold on one second. Yeah, so, please. All right, before I take any more questions, I'm going to let Chief Aubrey kind of walk through the chronology of uh, what just uh, transpired in Times Square. Okay, Bill? So I just, I just want to uh, reiterate, as the mayor and the police commissioner had said, there is no indication at this point that this has anything to do with terrorism. I'm going to take you through the facts that we know an hour and a half into this incident. 11.54 a.m., Mr. Richard Rojas, he's a 26-year-old male. He's traveling southbound on 7th Avenue. As he approaches 42nd Street, he makes a quick U-turn onto the west side street, west side sidewalk of 7th Avenue and 42nd Street. He proceeds on that west side sidewalk for three and a half blocks where he hits a stanchion. Between 42nd and 43rd Street, there's an 18-year-old female that was struck, and she now is dead. Her 13-year-old sister was also struck, and she's being treated in a hospital. Upwards of over 20 other people were injured between 42nd Street and 45th Street on that west side sidewalk. When he hits the stanchion on the west side high, uh, sidewalk, there's a traffic agent that ends up tackling him. That's traffic agent Alfaki. Abdel Maggio. There's also a parole officer and there's also patrol cops that are there that assist with apprehending him. They get him in the patrol car, they bring him back to Midtown South Precinct. He makes certain statements which I'm not getting into. Currently right now he's being transported to a testing facility where Highway will test him for drugs and alcohol. As the commissioner had said, he has a previous background arrest history. In 2008, he was arrested in Queens for uh, drinking and driving. And also in 2015, he was arrested in Manhattan for drinking and driving. His last recent arrest was in May of this year, and that was for menacing. And again, you know, we're working with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. We're working with uh, witnesses, we're looking at video to try to piece the facts together here. But at this point, there is no indication that there is terrorism re involved. We have detectives at his home. We have detectives canvassing for video. We have detectives speaking with witnesses. And again, so far, it looks like uh, we're getting down to the facts as they come about. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right, everyone, that press conference has wrapped up in New York. You have New York.